Congratulations on the purchase of your new Assault Air Bike. Let's unbox your new Assault Air Bike so you can begin using it as soon as it is assembled. First, make sure you lay the carton on the ground and after removing the strapping and opening the bottom of the box, stand it on edge with the arrow pointed up and remove the carton. You will notice that the parts are wrapped in plastic and protected in styrofoam. Begin to remove the wrapping and notice that some parts are embedded in the styrofoam, so don't accidentally throw them away. After you have removed all the loose parts, lay them out so you can find them quickly during the assembly process. In the small parts bag, which includes the nuts, washers, and screws, there are two tools provided for assembling your assault bike, the hex wrench and the flat multi-purpose wrench screwdriver. The first step in the assembly is to remove the red transport tube and the nuts and screws. Next, slide the transport tube under the front of the frame for balance as you install the front stabilizer. Slip the front stabilizer into the receiver on the main frame and use two number 58 screws, two number 34 lock washers, and two number 35 flat washers to make the attachment. Use the hex wrench to tighten the screws to secure the front stabilizer bar. To assist in balancing the bike, move the red transport tube to the rear of the bike to prop it up so you can make the installation of the red stabilizer easier. Use two number 58 screws, two number 34 lock washers, and two number 35 flat washers to attach the rear stabilizer to the receiver on the main frame and tighten the screws using the hex wrench. You now can discard the red transport tube and the screws that came with it. Now, locate the speed sensor wire and remove the twisty to uncoil the wire. Inspect it to make sure it isn't damaged before threading it up through the console mast. Make sure the speed sensor wire isn't pinched between the frame and the mast as you use two number 58 screws, two number 34 lock washers, and two number 35 flat washers to install the console mast on top of the frame. Use the hex wrench on the screws making sure the console mast is secured. Next, unwrap the console and remove the batteries before opening the battery door on the back. Install the provided AA batteries, making sure that the plus side of the battery corresponds to the plus connector and the negative side to the negative connector according to the diagram before closing the battery door. Using the multi-purpose wrench screwdriver, remove the four Phillips screws from the back of the electronic computer console. Next, plug the speed sensor wires together and make sure they are completely pressed into place. Then feed the excess wire down inside the computer mast. Use the four Phillips screws removed from the back of the console to affix the console to the console mast. Don't pinch the speed cable as you install the console. Now you're ready for the handlebar assemblies. Remove the protective foam from the left and right side of the bike that is securing the pedal support tubes. Starting on the left side, locate the left handlebar assembly and install it rotating the peg clockwise. Make sure the peg is being threaded on straight so you don't cross thread it. Now, use the multi-tool wrench to tighten the nut between the handlebar and the frame so that there is no movement and there are no threads exposed. Repeat this on the right side of the bike installing the handlebars to the frame.
Now, find two number 37 pivot pins, four number 84 washers, and two number 85 lock nuts, which will be used to install the linkage arms to the handlebar bottom ends. Using one number 37 pivot pin and one number 84 washer, insert into the handlebar toward the frame. Next, attach the linkage arm to the pivot pin, then, using a number 84 washer and a number 85 lock nut, complete the attachment process. Use both the multi-tool and the hex wrench to tighten the pivot pin and the lock nut. Make sure there is no extra play in the movement of the linkage. Repeat this step for the right side of the bike to install the linkage. Now it's time to install the standard seat. First you must remove the small washer and allen screw on the back end of the seat slide assembly with a hex wrench before sliding the seat onto the rail. Once the seat is in place on the knurled portion of the seat rod, replace that small allen screw and washer and tighten. Next, using the multi-tool, tighten the seat nuts, making sure that the seat is level and is on the knurled portion of the seat rail. Don't forget, Tighten the nuts on both sides of the seat evenly so that there is no unwanted movement. Finally, install the pedals. They will have a L and R sticker which match the L and R stickers on the crank arms. Don't forget, the left side will be a reverse thread, so you will thread it counterclockwise. Make sure you tighten the pedal using the multi-tool. Install the right pedal onto the right crank arm and tighten with your multi-tool. Remember the right pedal is threaded normally. Finally use the hex tool to tighten the locking nut on each pedal. Before using the Assault air bike, loosen the pop pin on the seat post to adjust the post to the proper height. You may also adjust the seat slide fore and aft for comfort. A detailed manual is included. Don't forget to read it. There is a schematic on how to assemble the bike. Other information is included such as programming the console and additional safety tips. There are three optional products available the oversized seat for additional cushion and comfort, the windscreen which limits the amount of air blowing back toward you as you pedal, and a custom cup holder which fits between the electronic console and the console mast.